Hey guys, you here, Reiki Yay G, you know, welcome to the seventh track of my contact racing competitive playlist out of the eight tracks in total. So the second to last track, the last track I'll be posting tomorrow and we'll pretty much be done with this. You guys can pretty much sweat it out. So this is currently available for both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, like I said, links in the description below for that, for the entire playlist, as well as this particular track that I'm showcasing today for the seventh track. Giraffe Grand Prix, as description states, Bring you the ultimate hybrid track consisting of famous roots from Little Soul, which is a track that Sammy originally made back in the day, which was hot lapped quite a bit. Bringing you a unique variant track design involving a hairpin, which pretty much has a precise prop placement for accurate design, I suppose, at OCD. Guiding you towards another unique route, which allows you to see other cars racing across the road. Experience awesome battles through familiar routes you've raced before. Now put everything together and push your limits. The general design is very similar to Horse Grand Prix, which is Copper Royce's back within the playlist. However, the prop placements pretty much make this track unique to the Horse Grand Prix. So, general routes is the same, but so one particular section on the top, bottom left hand side is pretty much different. So, I'm sure you guys will enjoy. Let's get right into it. The track. Right, so second's the last track, you know. We'll be done tomorrow with these kind of videos because that, that's pretty much, this is pretty much my official creation. After this, I won't be making any tracks and I'll be sort of just polishing off these tracks, whatnot, on both consoles every time there needs to be anything that needs to be fixed or whatnot, repositioned. But yeah. A lot of time a full process has gone into this playlist guys so i certainly want you guys to give it a go and just give me some feedback on the entire playlist once you've done it all eight tracks available for both xbox 360 and ps3 in the description below um the link within the comment section is pretty much for the recreated version on the xbox 360 because what we have at the moment is a spreadsheet with 50 tracks max so only 50 tracks maximum with eight of my tracks for this particular playlist on the top as soon as i click the link you'll see the eight first tracks so sort of put in order with everyone's playlist put together at the moment we have six total playlists on the spreadsheet uh, each one made by an individual person so five people in total the sixth uh, playlist is pretty much a community playlist with all the best tracks from the community put together and uh, that, that's going to be pretty cool so 50 tracks in total two spare tracks that were not within the playlist separate tracks that we're going to be adding also as well so like i said 50 tracks in total quite simply to keep it nice and clean and competitive as well because we used to have about 140 tracks which is kind of pointless because every day we kept adding new tracks and there's no real competition when it comes to you know getting quick laps because there's someone out there that may not have time to sweat 140 tracks it's kind of crazy still so keeping it within 50 is a pretty nice limit and also the point system pretty much states that oh with how close the points are right now we're in the top 10 hot lappers but anyway the point is all 50 of one of these tracks are sort of for suited for contact racing and we intended that way, obviously, because a lot of these tracks that we used to have on the spreadsheet consisted of non-contact environments. So it was pretty much impossible for contact racing with a lot of back and forth bits and small alleyways. So we've completely gotten rid of these tracks within the spreadsheet. And like I said, we're aiming for these tracks to be for contact racing in proper racing environment, with battles and overtakes and whatnot. So that's going to be nice to see. Like I said, get involved if you're still interested in that. And we mostly record times in contact racing now anyway, as we still haven't started hot lapping them properly yet. But as we, like we said, we do this as a side event once we uh, don't have enough people to actually come in line. Or whenever we feel like we want to push our limits ourselves, we'll do it. But mostly we're doing contact racing now. Completely stop on contact, like we said. Now, the initial design of this track, right, like I said, the layout looks very similar to, uh, to Horse Grand Prix. But initial Horse Grand Prix, what it does, you have to take a left-hander right here past this tree. But instead we rerouted it towards the Little Soul section, which is a, this part of the track where it's really, really, a really awesome line to take for this double left-hander, which is quite a, a favourite line by a lot of people who quite commonly play the track on Little Soul Grand Prix. In this section here as well, the left-hander, we dip in, but usually you have a line available for the two wide rows on the right-hand side. But I decided to change it with the props that I was given to create a hairpin instead to go back onto this bit. But what you'll notice in the section is you see the cars coming across the other side into the sharp left-handed dip. So that's nice to see that sort of involvement of seeing other races as well. That's keeping it nice and neat as possible with the prop placements. Because anything that's slightly off there, if the little barrier is sticking out, of course, pretty much car will go flying off. Now on that particular straight on that hairpin, where I placed the barriers on that middle mid straight of the two lanes, I had to make sure that was smooth as hell. Where if you sort of go in riding against the barriers, you're sort of just smoothly going straight without clipping any of the edges because nothing is sticking out because having to recreate you have to be really OCD and having to make it perfect because one bit is sticking out it can completely fucking ruin everything and even the hairpin itself if that was slightly misplaced with the tyre stack which was the most important bit because that's pretty much what determine, determines the point of the U-turn what exactly you're going to break and the breaking points as well so 
If that was slightly out of place, then the lap times will be slightly different milliseconds on both consoles and that wouldn't be fair. So all of these duplications with hairpins and everything that I've done for all the eight of these tracks. So about a good few hours in each track to recreate to make sure they're perfect. Nothing's out of place. All the checkpoints are precisely right angled on the spot of exactly from the PS3 version. Even the props as well with the right angles and the right placement. And this way, I'm going to get fair results from both sides and, you know, once again, it's just pretty much exact duplication at the moment. The best that I could do personally as a rock star don't have the option available. The one thing you notice in this race how close it is between me and the person behind me throughout the entire time. Some consistent stuff. But like I said, I, I had to sort of defend in this situation because uh, there's nothing more I can do. Obviously, two more laps to go. Each lap is about, I think, two minutes. Two minutes, uh, I think two minutes, one second. I'm not sure. Something around that. So it was a nice, nice lengthy track. Sort of similar time to the Chapel Grand Prix. I suppose you could say. I just want to check now, actually, if that is the appropriate. Yep. It is Giraffe Grand Prix. Two minute one point eight one zero is the current fastest time on this track. But I'm sure you can get into the 159s or 158s if you perfect this track and actually hot lap it. So these are contact racing times that we managed to get the top 10 recorded at the moment. So within the spreadsheet right now, all the times you see for these eight tracks that you've seen or you're about to see, you're going to see the eighth track tomorrow. The seven tracks you've seen already, all the times within the top 10 in the spreadsheet are sort of just the times we've got within the contact racing environment with actual battles involved. So we haven't really hot lapped it yet, we haven't started yet. So we're going to test our limits pretty soon once everything is sorted out. But like I said, everything is now complete. The entire playlist is complete. I will be still showcasing the final track tomorrow for those of you that are interested in it. But all eight tracks, like I said, available for Xbox 360 and PS3. Now you're able to completely play it properly and everything is pretty much finished with description and whatnot, and the detail of the pictures and everything and prop placements. So these tracks, I would mainly advise you to play for with sports and supers. Of course, you can try any other, you know, classes out, but obviously it will take a very long time. These, this playlist was intended for sports and supers at the moment. But you could do muscle racing if you wanted to, coupes and those are other cars, sedans. But like I said, these lap times will be longer than usual as the other cars are slower. So I mainly design it intended, like I said, for sports and supers. That's something that we mainly do all the time, keep things more intense. That way, um, I don't know, we just get more enjoyment out of that. So final lap, I believe, he's still on my ass at the moment. Holy shit, yes, this was a pretty close battle for the entire time. I think I kept managing to uh, going with this, just pretty much defending for the entire time. And making him push as well at the same time, because I'm trying to defend at a pacey rate, but it's very difficult to do it consistently. And th this is a tricky section. I mean, it was pretty pretty nice, you know, having the battle through here as well. It was right behind me, and this hairpin was about to get me. I think it was about to get me. I screwed up the hairpin, slightly shifted my car. Kind of did irritate him slightly, created a gap. I technically, I suppose, it was my fault. But that can happen with the tire stacks there, but it keeps it interesting. I, I felt the pressure, hence why I choked on the tire stack. Slightly go slower than usual in the inside line, just to make sure you get that line, especially if someone's kissing your bumper. But in the final section of this track, nice sweeping left-hander with a nice little, I suppose, another hairpin as well, you could say. And uh, coming up to a nice uh, bumpy straight. Which you know you can get a couple of lines you can choose from which are kind of beneficial. And then you come into the nice uh Rockford circuit section with this left hander, which really, really awesome, it's smooth as well. And an end section of the once again this is a similar section to Horse Grand Prix. You uh take a nice line through there, the inside line to go out. And I think he sort of choked around this point because the gap pretty much drastically increased. So here, yet again the same thing, but this time you got Anaconda GP we're sort of you know mixed up all the routes from my favorite tracks I suppose as well let's get a nice little left and right hand there nice little left hand loop this is a unique bit of the track and then uh, right hand into the tunnel for the finish which is sort of out of the route compared to Horse Grand Prix so that is, that is pretty much it that is the track now the seventh track which is available like I said eight, all eight tracks are now available the playlist isn't complete so give it a go guys, let me know what you think, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys soon, good luck, and uh, you, guys, you guys should be getting some awesome racing with the right set of players, show you some knocking out a piece, yeah!
Hey guys, you here? Hey, 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 Gina. Welcome to the sixth track of the competitive contact racing playlist, which I've created and put together. I'm totally going to be making eight tracks to complete this playlist, but this is.